Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about what to do in case your DC realistic or sim haptic are not connecting to your DCS. I've gathered here a set of steps that will solve your problem. Um, and uh, this is the checklist of steps that needs to be taken. Let's start with step A. Validate there are no export Lua errors in DCS log. So what you need to do is go to this path, which is your uh, saved games path. And other that under that you will look for DCS logs and then the file called DCS.log. What you want to do is open it using any text editor you have on your PC. It can also be the notepad. Uh, what you will see, uh, you will see a file with lots of lots of lines of, of uh, logs, uh, but we don't care about most of it. What you want to do is press Control F and this will open you the option to search for a text. What you want to type in is the word export you may find more than one, um, so you need to navigate between the export matches, but the one that you're looking for is a line that looks like that. It starts with alert, can't execute Lua file. This is what you want to see. If you find some, found something like that, then it means that you found the, the problem. What you want to do is you want to go all the way to the right and understand what Lua file DCS is unable to execute. Um, so it says can't open abc.lua. The next step would be to go to your export file of DCS and uh, clean up this load line because this file probably doesn't exist for you. So what you want to do is go to your export Lua, which will be found in this path, which is your saved games, DCS, scripts, and then export Lua. Since it's a Lua file, uh, it may not give you uh, right away the option to open in a notepad, but you can uh, download any text editor and open it. It's just a simple text file after all. Once you opened it, you will see something like that. You will see lines of uh, code, uh, but you, what you're looking for is the name of the file that the export was not, open or was not able to run. So if you go back to DCS log, it's called abc.lua. If I go here, I see this line, do file abc.lua. Do file means run the file abc.lua. This file probably doesn't exist and that's why it can't run it. So what you wanna do is delete this line and save the file. That's it. What you wanna do now is restart your flight in DCS and see if it's working. So this is about how to fix an, uh, an export Lua error in uh, DCS log, step A. If that didn't work, you want to go to step B. Step B is you need to validate your export Lua integrity. So you go here to this path, saved games, DCS, scripts, export Lua. Open it using a text editor and look on it. Okay. What you want to see, you want to see um, in case of DC realistic or sim haptic, you want to see those two lines. The first line runs the script of this realistic the second line would uh, auto start this realistic in this case it's this realistic but if we were talking about sim haptic it would look the same but instead of this realistic it would have been written sim haptic so it doesn't really matter for the context of the video what you want to what you want to see for this realistic is this and for sim haptic it will look the same but it will also only says sim haptic instead Okay, you got the idea. It's very important to make sure that the integrity of this file is properly proper because in, in case there is one letter that is for some reason deleted like that and this serialistic would not load or auto start for you. So you wanna make sure that it looks exactly like that. Of course, the path will be different in every PC, but the structure of those lines needs to be exactly the same like here. Um, you may have lots of lines below, lots of lines above, okay? What you wanna make sure is that those lines looks valid for you, that there is no junk or any line that may break this file. Um, and once you're done with that, restart your flight in DCS and check if things are working for you. If this step didn't work for you, let's move to step number C. In some PCs, um, you have 
third party antivirus and firewall installed and if you don't then you use probably the windows uh, defender one firewall um, if you go to this stage there is a good chance that some firewall is blocking the server of DC Realistic that runs behind the scenes to connect between DCS and DC Realistic or SimHaptic. In this case, you want to go to your firewall settings and exclude DC Realistic or uh, SimHaptic form from it so it won't block the server. In case you did that and it's still not working, what you want to do is go to step D, which means change DC Realistic or SimHaptic server port. To do that, open DC Realistic or SimHaptic, go to settings tab, and other than that, you will see a field called server port. What you wanna do is change the port there for, some, for something, for example, like 8473, okay? Make it uh, any number above, uh, above 8000 for this sake, okay? Um, and check if it works. To check if it works, you need to restart your flight in DCS. If it's still not working for you, contact us. You should go to rkapps.shop, open the chat on the lower right um, corner and just contact us. We will go over with you on those files, on the log and the export and help you to make things uh, working for you. Um, hopefully this video helped, helped someone and uh, thank you for listening. Have a good one.